Now, back to Race Day Live. So here we are back in Charlottetown today for a Sunday afternoon race program. It is the race day broadcast team, Lee Drake and Peter McPhee with you, the pregame show here this afternoon. And we're doing it with heavy hearts today. Yesterday, uh, we had the news, uh, the sad news that a Nova Scotia-based horseman, of course, legendary and a friend, Phil Pinckney, passed away at the age of 84. And uh, Peter, uh, we got together last night after the, after the race uh, program we pulled together some clips um, of Phil and uh, you know what it, it's it's probably the one that we that we remember the most is the fact that we had him on not that long ago May 9th 2020 as part of the virtual tack room first of all we were thinking of Phil's family today and again we send our sympathies and condolences uh, to Phil's family what a great guy he was Lee and uh, we had a chance to talk to him last year as you mentioned in May and uh, what a memory he had that night on the show Lee talking about all the different horses over the years that he had and he raised and uh, raced around the Maritimes and actually in North America, he developed a lot of great horses over the year. We'll touch on some of those. But again, what we remember about Phil most is just how great a guy he was and what a true gentleman he was, Lee. Everybody you've talked to in the last few days has said the same thing. What a great horseman, but what a great guy. What a great guy. And, you know, one thing about it uh, was the respect that he had uh, from fellow horse people. Phil had it. He earned it. And he deserved it. And, uh, you know, we had a chance to talk to him uh, about so many great moments in his career. And, uh, you know, the one that stands out is uh, the one that we were working the desk that night uh, back in 2007. It was part of the Gold Cup and Saucer trial. He had Dan Ashton Gale in that race. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you, it, it is uh, just to hear him even talk about it, which we will in just a few minutes. But that was a special moment on our, on our night that night. It's still probably the, the best moment I've had during our show here. And that says a lot about uh, what we've done over the years on the race day show but that night here at the driving park was something else when he tipped that horse three wide up the back stretch the crowd the noise was unbelievable it went to another level that night and you'll see it when they come down the stretch just the reaction of the fans and uh, Lee, it was some night here at the driving park so a tribute today to the late phil pinckney on the race day broadcast and we're going to take you to that clip right now as phil talks about that night that race back in 2007 well, Phil, I, I just want to ask you, Phil, um, he's one of my favorite horses of all time. And, and that night that he won that trial, Lee and I were working the desk. I don't know if I've heard the crowd louder at the CDP since I've been working there. And I've been doing it for 15 years, Phil. So I'd like to know your thoughts going into that race. That night he won the trial. What were your thoughts heading into the race? Uh, I, I don't know. I just I, I was just hoping that we could we could put on a good show. And I, I he seemed good. He, he you know, he, he, he seemed good that year. And he, he just was, you know, he was just a good, good horse, like you know. And uh, I was hoping that we could get a, we could get a good trip and and put on a good show, and like you know, it's pretty tough when you race with them kind of horses. That, and uh, but anyway, we ended up. I think we had a really, things worked out good. We had a really good trip in that race. Maybe a second over trip or third over trip. And uh, when I moved him out, he kind of just blew by them, and and uh, he seemed to be really sharp and. Uh, Good. And, and and I'll never forget the I think that we he come back to the winter circle. We got a standing ovation there, and and I couldn't you know it was it was quite a thrill really. And I was I'm happy for the owners because you know they're such nice people and put a lot of effort in it. And it was a great race. Show kid, Dan Ashton Gale, Mary Mad Hanover. Here they come. There they go. They're up and pacing and top luck along the rail, leaving out. Rough gated underground king into the turn as they race to the opening eighth and rail control for Mario and Tough Luck on the lead. Pacing second on the rail. Harmony P is going to get a good trip. Up on the outside, Presidential Kid going to move forward third, racing from fourth. Oh, on the inside lies the truth. Pacing fifth along the rail. That's J.K. Big Shot. Dinash and Gales away sixth. Mary Matt Hanover seventh. Trailing the field and very rough at the back. That is Underground King. 26 and four. Boom. Just like that. That is Mario by Yarjan and top luck in the early going here. Up the upper turn and down the stretch. They're in front of us first time around. Top luck at the midway point. The leader in the two hole presidential kid up on the outside. There goes JK Big Shot on the third. Harmony P fourth on the rail. Dan Gale gets 
second over, covering the outside, fifth, lies the truth, sixth up the rail, into the turn, Mary Matt Hanover, seventh on the outside, underground king, the trailer, 55 and four for an opening half mile, halfway up the back stretch, going to three quarters next, and the leader, top lock, coming three wide on the outside, now taking dead aim at the leader, Denashton Gale coming on for Pinckney, third towards the rail, presidential kid, racing from fourth, up on the outside, J.K. Big Shot, 124 and two, and could it be true, Denashton Gale, coming off the turn, and he's leading, and he's driving away here, folks. Denashton Gale and Phil Pinkney have won trial number one. Well, there you have it. That uh, race still gives me goosebumps. Uh, Phil said in his own words uh, in that interview in Virtual Attack Room that day, Peter, that night that we, did, we talked to him, he said when he moved that horse three wide, he just exploded off cover. Yeah, again, he said he turned on the burners, Lee, and uh, again, uh, Phil was so great in that interview. But just a few things about Dan Ashton Gale and how great he was, Lee. 23 for 26 in his two- and three-year-old campaigns. That's 23 wins from 26 starts. He was a three-time Atlantic Horse of the Year, and he set his lifetime mark in that race 153 and one and phil said it so kindly lee he turned out to be a pretty good little pony <laughs> <laughs> so you know what uh we have so many uh, great memories of uh, phil pinckney uh, an o'brien award winner from horsemanship well deserved and uh also i guess if you're going to look at history and and in moments in history peter the one that i remember as well when it comes to the gold cup and saucer was uh, the race, uh, of course, Rev Your Engine, which was many considered the best stretch drive in the history of the Cup back in 1986. And we get a picture of it here. This is Rev Your Engine and Angel Shadow through, through, the, through the mud that night in that race. And again, another great moment that Phil Pinkney was part of. Yeah, it was, Lee. And again, went back and watched the interview last night uh, from the virtual attack room, and he talked about that race, about how uh, the owners came in from New York. Horse got a little steppy, Lee. Interesting, uh, when uh, that race went in 86, he left the trailing position. They went seven wide here, so he trailed, left eight, sat at the back, and then he brushed up the back stretch, and uh, they sat down for the duel. Angel Shadow was on the inside. Phil was on the outside, yeah. driving hard at the wide and Phil said in the interview, I'm not sure if I got up. Well, we know he did, he did get up to win it. Yeah. And he said, uh, what I remember, Lee, is he was just so happy for everyone else. That's the kind of guy Phil was. Yeah. He'd win a big race and say, I was so happy for everyone That's else. That's right. He mentioned the owners uh, quite frequently in his interviews that night. And just the way that, uh, that he treated everyone. He had uh, such respect, uh, whether you went to visit uh, him at the barn or whether he was here on this track or any other track that he went to. And he's been all over, not only in Canada and the U.S. So we're thinking of uh, Phil Pinkney today and his family, and uh, there is the shot right there. I know Ocean 100 posted this on their social media feeds when the story broke yesterday, and I think the shot just says it all. It's sort it, of a, it, sort, it, sort, you know, a sort of a going it away. It captures so everything. Well. It yeah. captures everything, Lee. It says it all right there. Uh, just a gentle smile, and you can tell he's such a kind gentleman, and Lee respected by everyone in the harness racing community. A tribute today to the late Phil Pinkney.